Alright, hey guys, it's Alex here, and welcome to Adventure Quest World's News. I'm just gonna get right started on with what's gonna be coming soon. So, you guys didn't see that other one, but first, we're gonna talk about the size. There's gonna be six new sites coming out for the new carnival events. They're all pretty demonic, they got sketchy things, like, look how freaky they are. But then, wait, 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 this is my favorite. Yes, the scythe with the face. Look at that. <laughs> it's so awesome. It's so out of place with all the others. But yeah, this is what's coming. I like it. Another thing coming is also for the carnival event, which is coming next week. Um, this is going to be part of it, which is really cool. It's a new concept. I am speculating that this could be a new cape that's coming out, but I could be wrong. You guys feel free to think of what this could be. It might be a new monster. It might be... I don't know, man. It just looks awesome, but you can see at the bottom there's a guy down there, so I'm thinking this is some cape. Like, really cool cape. But we'll see. Um, okay, so if you guys had done the event last week, pretty much, there is a new item which is c called the Enchanted Rod of Crease Lightning, which is pretty much just butter. It's literally butter, but what this is, is, um, it actually has the widest damage region of a QW, so you can this, you know, most people when they try to farm items like Miltonus, I mean, um, Nogath stuff, they want to get those items that do like crazy unstable damage. Well, this is crazy unstable, dude. This is insane. So this thing, if you guys know, it drops from the Chuck Murala and Slash Joe and Crash Ruins and in which it's pretty crazy. It's strong. You can heal your enemies, but I just wanted to tell you guys that it has one of the widest range. Or it is the widest range in AQW. This was found out by Yoshino. So yeah, credits to her. Alright, so another thing that just came out. You guys should be able to farm this by now since last Monday is the Victory Blade Evolution. So pretty much, you buy the Silver Victory Blade. You enchant it to the Enchanted Victory Blade. And then you can go of one of two routes. You can go an evil side or a good side. So pretty much... Most people, pro I'm guessing other YouTubers have made guides on this by now, but all you do is go and battle on. There's a chest here. You want to click on chest shop. Purchase this baby right here, just like so. You know, just purchase it. You know, get the first you want to do is get the enchantment, the enchantment ruin thing. And in which you go to select quest, victory blade enchantment. Do this quest. These are all in slash join graveyard. So accept this, kill all those guys, bring it back, upgrade your thing. Get ready for the next part. So pretty much the next part. By the way, you can get both parts of this. So you can get the evil version and the good version. And a thing about this that's really good about it is you get 20% experience. And it's just pretty awesome. So I'm going to get this soon for sure, but not today. So you guys can get that. And of course, there are these quests where you get to choose the spare glory. So yeah. You get to choose whatever you want to go with and just keep doing it until you get it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the awesome Blade Evolution. Another thing about the shops I want to say is also last, I believe, Monday, um, a new January holiday shop has appeared. It, I don't think it was announced yet. Probably it was announced, but for those who don't know, there's a new shop here. Um, you guys can get some new stuff. So this is brand new. It's for um, Captain Rhubarb's birthday. And of course, some returning stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so another thing is that if you guys remember the thing that I had previous called called Gaia Mancer, it's actually being called Arcane Stone Crusher. So they changed the name. The artist of making this um, set called it Gaia Mancer is in which why I named it Gaia Mancer. But most likely throughout their meetings and stuff, they decided to change the name. And so, in order to earn this class, all you need is rank 10 Bright Oak Reputation. It will be a Bright Oak Reputation class. Meaning, last week's, vi or last week's news video in which I announced a new Tier 2 class states that there actually will be a new Tier 2 class that involves Shaman and Bard. So... That's going to be exciting, so we can expect more new classes coming, besides this arcane stone crusher. So, that's pretty much it for today's news. There's really nothing else for me to discuss today, except maybe ask one last final question. 
What would you guys like to see in the Arcane Stone Crusher class? What kind of abilities would it have? I'm just gonna say it's gonna be like Toll from Avatar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting. I'm hoping that the set, and you know, you guys see that golem behind you? I hope that this might be, in a way, a mage class in which, it, you know, has runes all over. It should be a mage class. A mage class that can control pets. So you can control your pets to do magical, like, it, only one of, I feel like one of your skills should be a pet move, and then the rest should be what your character would do. So one of them like summons your pet to do some crazy move and then the rest is all based upon using your power to control the stones. That's what I'm thinking how the class might go. Like, I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. It should have some new animation. Pretty positive. If it doesn't, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Because this class has a lot of potential. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's news video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Have a happy Wednesday, guys. See ya.